General Marks, I just want to say a few words about what happened yesterday in New York City. The American principle that no one is above the law was reaffirmed. Donald Trump was given every opportunity to defend himself. It was a state case, not a federal case. And it was heard by a jury of 12 citizens, 12 Americans, 12 people like you, like millions of Americans who served on juries. This jury is chosen the same way every jury in America is chosen. It was a process that Donald Trump's attorney was part of. The jury heard five weeks of evidence, five weeks. And after careful deliberation, the jury reached a unanimous verdict. They found Donald Trump guilty on all 34 felony counts. Now he'll be given the opportunity, as he should, to appeal that decision, just like everyone else has that opportunity. That's how the American system of justice works. And it's reckless, it's dangerous, it's irresponsible for anyone to say this was rigged just because they don't like the verdict. Our justice system has endured for nearly 250 years. And it literally is the cornerstone of America, our justice system. The justice system should be respected, and we should never allow anyone to tear it down. It's as simple as that. That's America. That's who we are. And that's who we'll always be, God willing. Now to another issue. I. Uh, I want to give an update on my efforts to end the crisis in Gaza. For the past several months, my negotiators of foreign policy, intelligence community, and like have been relentlessly focused, not just on a ceasefire that would, ever, that would inevitably be fragile and temporary, but on a durable end of the war. That's been the focus, a durable end of this war, one that brings all the hostages home, ensures Israel's security, creates a better day after in Gaza without Hamas in power, and sets the stage for a political settlement that provides a better future for Israelis and Palestinians alike. Now, after intensive diplomacy... President Biden giving his first public remarks after Donald Trump's uh, verdict yesterday. Also, he's going to make some more comments about the Middle East. But let's bring in Megyn Casella here uh, to react, Megyn, to what you've just heard from President Biden and, uh, again, the significance of what's happened in the past 24 hours. Yeah, those were the first remarks that we're hearing from Biden himself. And we're seeing him really stand up for the verdict, saying this is the rule of law. We must respect it. This is the way the justice system works in this country. He said it was dangerous for anyone to suggest that this was a rigged trial. It's, of course, a pretty direct shot at the former president, Trump, and his campaign and his allies have been saying for almost 24 hours now, much longer. But since the verdict, they've been saying there was no way this was a fair trial. We heard the former president say earlier that this had never happened to anyone else before, whereas Biden was trying to say this is exactly how the system works. He did allude to the fact that we're likely to see a very long appeals process. It means we're not at the end of the road for this. But we're also seeing both candidates really sort of shift into full campaign mode at this point. Biden wasn't doing it right there from the White House, but both he and Trump have been fundraising in a major way today. We saw the Trump campaign announce that they've already raised $35 million dollars since the verdict was announced last night, down ballot candidates and campaigns are raising in a major way as well. So that's really where we're shifting, Kelly, is into more of that campaign talk from here. Indeed. Megan, thank you very much.